Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stealing 33 Plays XCOM Enemy Within the Long War. I'm your host, Stealing 33, and without further ado, let's get started. So, last episode, we had a really good successful mission where we managed to capture a live Thin Man, um, much to my chagrin. Uh, Eric has proven himself to be quite reliable, if I do say so myself. Um, so, now we have 10 alloy. There was something I wanted to build that required 10 alloy laser cannon. That was it. This is what I wanted. Um, yes. Uh, alright. Laser cannon's underway. Xenocionics should be, uh, starting soon. That satellite's gonna get shot down. America's gonna be pissed. Panic increased in Mexico. Um, I think we might have to abandon the states. Um, we keep losing satellites over there. And I really need to get, like, some satellite coverage over myself. Um... Because, like, my good fighters are all just sitting there doing nothing. Again, I don't want to send the A-team, especially not, like, freaking Chloe doesn't need to go. Sandra might be alright to go. And so will Ripley. But, like, I don't need to send... I don't need to send everybody. We'll send the the corporals and some rookies. Skolov. Let's send Skolov. Han Henderson. Skolov, Henderson. Uh... Aziz, and, um, Matt Lane. Why not? This is, like, a good good enough team. We can f go ahead and start outfitting people with various things that they might need. Make items available. I want to make sure we have enough armor to outfit Ellen Ripley and Sandra accordingly. We have seven laser rifles. It's too many ra laser rifles. I can now actually afford to give three laser rifles away to somebody. Which is nice. You know, I won't lie. It's a good position to be in. Have too much of something, but... Uh, it was a waste of alloy then, which is upsetting. But what are you going to do at this point? I mean, I guess eventually I will get eight squad members, but I don't have the um, I don't have the officer's training school unlocked yet. Uh, yeah, the Z's is the one with the highest aim, so he's getting the, the armor this time. Everyone else is just going to get basic, basic tack armor. Get on your armor, boys. Grab another med kit. And we will probably also bring um, bring an arc thrower with us, just in case. You can never have too many live aliens. Um, I don't want the rookies to be carrying it. Sandra's got plenty of HP, so I think uh, we'll take we'll take off her AP grenade and replace it with an arc thrower. Um, the arc thrower does carry minus one movement speed, which is bad. Um, but whatever. That also means that I think Sandra might have the lowest movement speed out of everybody. Yeah, she does. Alright, that's fine. Um, she can run and gun and get into position to, like, go there on the next turn. So we'll worry about that, um, when that arises. Hmm. Maybe some Gatorade. It's pretty, pretty early for me. I was up late last night playing... Team Fortress 2 with uh, Antonio and Tom. Having a lot of fun. Team Fortress 2 is a lot of fun. We were doing that. Played a little bit of Counter-Strike. Antonio and Tom both hate it. I like it, actually. I'm ha I have a lot of fun with Counter-Strike. We've gotten pretty good with a couple of the guns. And, uh, you know, the more I play, the better I get. So, it feels nice. This is the map, the same map as the first mission I went on in the whole series. That bomb disposal mission was on this map where uh, Rob got shot in the face. Actually, just uh, just rewatched that episode um, the other day. I was uh, reviewing. Let's go ahead and bust through here. Don't walk on the meat. Like oh, she didn't bust through the window. It's weird. Expected some window busting. Up here. Ella Ripley has Sharpshooter, Sapper, and Grenadier, which means that she, I think she's more effective against people who have low profile, which means that, like, the Thin Man and Sectoids who get it later won't be too big of a deal anymore, which will be nice. Um, I accidentally released a pot of aliens, but I guess we can take a shot here, and we'll put people tactically towards that position then, um, which is fine. Got lots of Overwatches, so if they come to us, we'll, we'll, rain, we'll rain hell on them. Make it rain fire, if you will. I, I'm, like, getting real paranoid about there being mutons and shit. 
Um, because mutons are fucking scary. Um, what we need is what we need is Ellen Ripley to come busting through that door over there and shoot the crap out of these guys from the side. Uh, Sokolov, why don't you take that shot? You have tack armor on as well, or carapace armor, phalanx armor, whatever it's called in long war. I'm so used to it being carapace armor that like I keep forgetting what it's actually called. Um, apparently we can stun floaters, which is interesting. Uh, we'll probably set about trying to do that so we can... I think if you stun a floater, you get, like, uh, you get research credit towards something or other. I don't remember what that something or other is, but I know you... I think you get it, so I want it. So this guy tries to move in. We got two overwatches waiting for him. But they shouldn't. And I don't know how much the computer cheats. But if they cheat a significant amount, we might have a problem. Henderson, 25% shot. It's terrible. Sokolova. That's bad. Take that 48. Let's try to injure this thing before... There we go. So now, if I send... Can I now stun this guy? We can try. 55 is not too bad. So it failed. Whatever. That's fine. Um, we'll just kill it then. Shooting at its stupid fuck face. Alright, come here. Close up against this wall. That thing's not in cover. Shoot it in the face. Good. Um, Henderson. 37. Take it. Let's miss. This is garbage. Garbage. Take this shot. Come on, Henderson. You shot the cover that your friend is using. Don't do that. That's bad business. Alright. Hey, that's a muton, I swear to god. It's a muton and some sectoids. Or it's more floaters and I'm mistaken I'm mistaken again. So I know that one guy had to um Okay, where'd he go? Where'd he go? You got sharpshooter, so you got bonus aim versus people in full cover. Which didn't help. You reload. 27's not too shabby. Destroyed that chain link fence. Destroyed uh, the wall that Sandra was using. And revealed a muton and some sectoids. I hate you. Die in a fire. Where did that even go? Alright, come on. Sandra, baby, please. She's, uh, Ellen Ripley's not in cover now because that wall got destroyed. That guy apparently wasn't in cover either, so he's dead. There's that. Or is he gonna land? Right in the asshole zone. So let's go ahead and shoot this guy. Cool, five. Not too bad. Um, let's go here. Shoot this guy. Cool. I think I gave Sandra close combat specialist, but I'm not sure. I might have. Cool. Dead, dead, dead. Alright, now we don't, we saw the muton go this way. He went this way, which means, yeah, he's probably... Apparently going to be right there. That's scary. Oh, Sandra, please. All right, there's a sectoid. Don't shoot. Don't you do it. Alright, cool. Um, that means we can mess this muton up because he's not in cover. Um, but we're... Oh, most of us are out of bullets. Fantastic. I want to need this muton dead. And I need him dead now. And I need him dead... Uh, I need him dead yesterday. If you guys can manage that for me, that'd be great. Alright, come on, shoot him. Alright, cool. Good job. Killed that guy. C uh, capturing a muton might be a good idea at some point. But I will I will get to that when we have, like, robot units that can, like, draw fire and stuff. Basically, when we're not, like, you know, in the early game, I will, I will consider that a possibility. 
Um, I want to go up, but at the same time, that's dangerous. So instead, we're going to shoot this guy. All right, Ellen Ripley's really pulling her weight here. And she's British, too, which I, I don't know if Sigourney Weaver's British. I don't remember. Why don't you shoot that sectoid there? Cool. Three damage done. Not too shabby. I wish I had saved the arc thrower for that guy, actually. But, you know, it was worth it to try to get the... Capture the floater. Because I think they give us, like, um, airplane technology when you uh, capture a floater. Don't quote me on that, but I... I think that's the case. I would have been really mad if that had destroyed uh, Sandra's cover. Thus probably costing her her life. Um, probably would have raged. You know, but despite all my rage, I'm still just a, a rat in a cage. Okay, and I want to be... I want to... Hmm. Okay, so I want to run and gun to here, but I think if I do that, then the sectoid will get a shot off on me. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to take Henderson, put Henderson right here, <laughs> and we're going to throw a grenade over this here wall. No, because we need the sectoid corpses. We actually do need the sectoid corpses. Um, for something. I don't remember what, but I remember needing them for some reason. Everybody overwatch. That way when he inevitably comes around or tries to flee we'll all shoot at him there we go <laughs> easy okay we lost the we, we lost the meld which blows but whatever uh so far so good um ellen ripley's taking a little bit of damage but nothing nothing critical I really wish using a med kit on somebody would make them, like, not go on sick leave. That would be cool. Why don't you reload? You reload. You move up. Uh, oh, and we lost, a, we lost a rookie. That's right. Oh, and it was one of the good rookies, wasn't it? Damn it, it was one of the good rookies. I think it was Aziz. Whew, excuse me. Spot on my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. I'm gonna get ID content matched because my voice is so beautiful, indistinguishable. Nobody will ever be able to tell that it's just some asshole singing. Mm. The blue Gatorade is pretty good. Never actually drank blue Gatorade. I usually normally get like the fruit punch one, the red one, but decided to go be adventurous and get the get the blue one today. Because, you know, that's that's my version of Adventurous, is blue Gatorade instead of red Gatorade. Because I'm boring. <laughs> Open this up. There's probably going to be sectoids in here, if I had to guess. No? Alright, you overwatch them. They're probably on the other side of the building, then. If I had to guess. No, no, Aziz is fine. Aziz is alive. He's the, he's the good rookie. He's the one I want to not die. Um, which sounds really mean, but, uh, you know, it's the, uh, the Sophie's choice of this is, like, you know, if I had to pick one of these kids, which one would I want to die? Well, the one that's a shitty little person and doesn't actually have good aim and can't hit the broad side of a barn with a laser rifle. You know, the, I wouldn't want that kid. That kid sucks. I want the one who can actually shoot stuff. Because, you know, this is a war. Alright, let's do this. I don't see anything yet, but move cautiously here. We'll see about possibly breaching some of these doors. Open up. Hello, aliens. Hello, aliens. No, they must be back here then. Um. So we'll send Sandra. Don't want to send her to here. Send her here. I have her overwatch. That's really stupid cover, but you know what? It's gonna it's the cover that we're gonna take right now. Uh, we'll send Alan Ripley up top. Kind of cover our bases here. And Sokolova, why don't you turn the camera? Come here. 
You know, bust this door open. We'll see if there's any juicy critters in here that we can spook out. Nope. So they must be over here somewhere. Or, like, back in this area. Yeah, they must be back here. Okay. Now then, Sandra. Sweetheart. Run and gun. To here. Do it. I think they're over here. Yep, found them. Oh, shit. I just realized that this was a very bad idea. Alright, that's fine. Sandra, you're gonna have to shoot your way out, hon. Um. Unless Ellen Ripley can bail you out from the roof. Yes, yes, she can. Shoot that guy. Ugh, that didn't quite kill. That's a shame. Um. We need to think. We need to think on our feet here. Um. Okay, go, go, go. Um. Sandra should be able to take a couple hits. Just gonna put her on freaking sick leave again. God damn it. That's alright. We'll, uh. We'll deal with that as it comes. Maybe the sectors will get confused and shoot at Ellen Ripley or something. Or maybe they'll move and close combat specials to activate. 100 things that might go right. Hundred ways might go wrong. Damn it! All right, Overwatch. Yep, this is one of them. That panic resistance is actually bad. Okay, um, that gives us one more turn to possibly try to save Sandra's life, which I think we just managed to do. All right, Sandra, come here and shoot that sectoid in the back. Gonna be hurt again, but you know what? That that was my bad. That was stupid on my part. I thought they'd be in the caged area, but I didn't even think that they might be just chilling out in that little nook over there. Fucking stupid. She got promoted at least. Uh, good job. Uh, close encounters actually probably would have saved us there. Um, no, because you can't do it with running gun. We'll take close encounters. Close encounters are really good. Thirty-four days on sick leave. For Sandra. Ooh, okie dokie. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Assign new research. Uh, the Psionics Lab is available. Psy Warfare Systems Project available in the Foundry. Okay, so now we can get Psionics. Um, on the run with the mind alone, with your go-ahead, we can be developing of several specialized pieces of gear that enhance our Psy Troopers' battlefield capabilities. That might be interesting. We'll go ahead and Interrogate the Thin Man, I guess. Um, scan for activity. Should be done. Satellite's good. Laser cannon's good. Let's outfit one of our airplanes in the America... Or in Europe. Which one's got the most kills? One. Zero. Zero. So the guy with one. You're the lucky guy who's getting the laser cannon today. Uh, do we have enough alloys to make another laser cannon? Because I'd like to have one per continent, if that's possible. Not that we're going to have the satellite coverage to, you know, cover both continents, but, you know, I can dream. Uh, right, we don't have any alloys. We have, like, five alloys. Jesus Christ. We're in a lot of trouble here. Um, I want to make a laser sniper rifle. Because I think that's an important thing to probably get, get done. Um, let's go ahead and... Scan for activity. So a complete lack of satellite coverage is going to become problematic at some point, I'm sure. But uh, Benin, Nigeria. That's uh, where we're going to go next episode. So thank you all for watching. If you believe what you saw, let me know. Uh, if you want to see more, um, you know, leave a like. Subscribe to the Gamer Crusaders channel to you know keep up to date when I post more XCOM videos. Uh, I normally post on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I'm thinking Thursday might get replaced with something else, because there's just lots of XCOM that's been posted. So, uh, with that, thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!